this um, quick uh, video uh, is about having many email accounts managed in one Outlook. This mailbox here is my account on the College of Business Exchange server. These archive folders here are all local folders of mail on my computer. Um, then I have two email accounts the LRVAN at biz.illinois is a College of Business account on live at edu. This prof.rvan account is just a regular Hotmail account. And I have those managed in Outlook just like I have my Exchange server account managed. So what we want to do here is show how to add such an account so you can have another email account managed here. And if we have time, show how to add a folder too. So what I am going to do is go to the Tools menu, go to Account Settings, and you see I have the email accounts listed here. I am going to add a new account, so let's make new here. And the particular account that I want to make, so let me bring this up a little bit higher, is an account from campus that is um, from Express Mail, so I am going to use uh, Express Mail as my example here. And um, let me show for one second that I'm taking the information. Sites has a web page that shows how to configure Outlook with Express Mail, and I am going to take the information from that web page. So let's try to do that here. My name is Lanny Arvan. My email address is lrvan at illinois.edu. By the way, I have had this Express Mail account for some time. I don't actually use it. Um, and the account, I believe, is express. Dot, um, sites. Dot UIUC dot edu. Uh, the outgoing, which you can only use on campus, is express smtp dot sites dot uiuc dot edu. And then your password, I've synced mine with my Active Directory account. So um, let's do this for one second and just make the account. and then it says finish. Now you actually have to do more work. So uh, notice that it actually has appeared in this menu. To actually get this to work there are some fancier settings. So we would go back in here and click change and then click let me move this dialog box up so you can see this. Click the more settings and we will finish them out. There are advanced settings that have to be set. So let's do that. The incoming um, server is supposed to be 993. So let's change that to 993. And you are supposed to use SSL for incoming. The outgoing server is 25. I think that's right. And you don't need SSL. So I think that's OK. And now we click Next and Finished. And it should, in fact, be done. So let's close this. And now we're ready to test it out.